today i will discuss on the topic of array in c++ so after watching this video presentation you will be able to define array you will be able to explain different type of array you will be able to know about the syntax of using array in c++ program so let's start with the topic now what is an array so the array is a collection of elements of similar or homogeneous data type homogeneous means similar data type it is used to store multiple values in a single variable name the elements are stored in a contiguous memory location and you can access the element by using an index there is no need of declaring separate variable for example this is a variable a b c d e if i want to store five value so here i have declared five separate variable variable a value is 1 b value is 2 c value is 3 d value is 4 and e value is 5 but if you want to store all this value in a array then there is no need of using different variable in that case we can use single array name that is in a 5 Here five means number of elements. So here number of elements is five. So I am using five. That is the size of array. So if you want to access first element, then you have to use the index. That is a zero one first element. Then a one is second. Then a two is third. Then a four is four. Then a five is So all this value will be stored like this. One, two, three, four, five contiguous memory location. So this is the array. Now the first element is seven. The second element is eight. The third element is one. The fourth element is four. the fifth element is 5 and the sixth element is 9 so this value is reference by using index value that is a0 then a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 so this is a array that is collection of elements of same type here 7 8 1 all are integer type so this is a element of similar data type let us discuss what are the different types of array the first type is one dimensional the second type is multi dimensional in one dimensional array the dimension is one that is it is having only single dimension that consists of single list of data item that can be like this 1 2 3 4 or it can be like this that is 1 2 and 3 it is also known as vector now how to access the element if you want to access the element then you have to use single index value or single subscript which can be either represent a row or column index now how to declare array in c++ program for that you have to use this syntax the first is data type after that array name and after that the size of the array for example int a5 here int is a data type and a is a variable that is array name and 5 is a size that is number of element that can be stored in this array is 5 for example this is a array that is a0 a1 A two, A three, A four, then A five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. In multi-dimensional array, it is having more than one dimension. That is consisting of multiple row and multiple column. So it will show the value like this: multiple column and multiple. row 
The two dimensional array represents a table of items consisting of row and column, which is known as matrix. In matrix, we can store like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. First row, second row, first column, second column, third column. So, TD. 2D array is known as array of array. So this is an array, this is an array, and this is an array, and this is an array. So this is an array of array. The element in 2D is accessed by using two index value. In one dimensional, it is one like this a1, a2. In case of 2D, it will be a00 or a12. So two index values used to access the element of 2D array. The syntax for using this array is data type, then variable name, then size. This is size 1, size 2. For example, int, then array name, then size 1, then size 2. So total element 5 into 3 is 15. So 15 elements are shown. This first element is referenced by using a0, a0. Suppose the array size is 5, so it will start from 0 to 4. So this two dimensional that is a, i and j, this is variable, i, 0, 0, so this is 0, 0, then 0, 1, then 0, 2. Then this time this a1, 0, this time 2, 0, then 3, 0, then 4, 0. And this value is referenced by using 4, 2. This is 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, and 2, 4, and 2. In case of 3D, it is having three dimension. The array elements is accessed by using three indexes. The syntax for using this is again data type, then variable name, array name, then size 1, size 2, size 3. So this is an example, int a532. In n dimensional array, there will be n dimension. The element in array is accessed by using n indexes. And the syntax for using n dimensional array is data type then array name then size size 2 size 3 up to size n for example if size is equal to 1 then it is one dimensional so int a5 is a single dimensional array if n value is 2 it means two size you have to define that is int a1 and 2 if n value is 4 then there is a four values this is four dimensional the first element will be a0, 0, 0, 0 and 0 in case of four dimensional array. Now what are the different advantages of using array in C++ program? The first advantage is that it is used to show multiple value in a single variable name. So there is a single variable name a0, then a1, then a2. So this is an array, the value is 1, 2, 3. So under single name, you can store multiple value. Only you need index to refer this element. So it is easy to access the value of array with the help of array index. So this is an index value that is used to refer the elements of array. It allocates memory in contiguous memory location. So this is a contiguous memory location that is uh, one, two, three. Now what are the different disadvantages? The disadvantage is that there is a size limit. The array is having fixed size of element. Now suppose you want to enter 10 elements but you have defined only 5 elements. So you cannot store more than 5 elements. So that's why it is having fixed size. It cannot store different data type. In array you can store only data of similar type. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. But if you want to show different data type, for example, here 1, then 4.5, then A, then A, B, C. In that case, you cannot show in this array because array is a collection of elements of similar data types. For this, you can show in a structure. 
because structure is a collection of data items of different data types. In class, you can also store. Now, how to implement the array in code block software? So, after including the header file that is iOS stream and using the namespace std within the main function int main, first we have to declare array that is int a5. Here I am taking the size of array 5 because I want to enter 5 elements from the user. Now, see out. I am displaying the message on the screen that enter any five elements. Then I am using the for loop for in i equal to zero, i less than five, then i plus plus. Here I am giving the instruction chain a i. After entering the value from the user, I want to display the value. So, elements in array. Here I can use slash n. Then again I will use for loop that is i equal to 0. There is no need of again declaring this i because it is declared here. Then i less than 5, then i plus plus. Then here I will use c out a i then end l if you want to print the value in next line then after that i will return zero then close this is opening this is closing so when you run this program you will see the output on the screen like this enter any Five element the user will enter five element that is one then after entering press button then two three four five then after that it will display the elements elements in array one two three four five after entering this value in memory the value is stored like this 3 then 4 contiguous memory allocation 1 2 3 4 5 so it will display this well 1 2 3 4 5 so this is a program you can implement in code block software and you will see this output so this is a program of single dimensional array in this video lecture you have understood what is an array what are the different types of array how you can implement this program in C++. So I hope you have understood all the concept in today's video lecture. So that's all for today. Thank you.